Earlier this year, there was a big event at the White House, and all three of us were there, and it was part of the White House's climate action plan, and it was a series of workshops that were convened to get people to use data, to build meaningful things, to help us become resilient. And one of the things that Esri did is we complemented that by announcing a climate resilience app challenge. So we had over 300 people participate in this app challenge. And there were dozens and dozens and dozens of applications that were built. They were awesome. But after much deliberation and after much pulling of the hair, we managed to select the winners, which we're pleased to announce to you here today. So, in third place, the Loudon Tech team with the Save the Rain application accepting the award is Mike Loudon. Please come on out, Mike. Hey, Mike. <laughs> now, this is a... It was a very interesting application. So using this application, users could make smart choices and save water. The water that would normally land on the roof, they could explore ways to use that differently. Watering lawns, washing cars, and a lot more. Next, in second place, from the flood forecast team, is flood forecast. And accepting the award is Mike Lockwitz. Coming out, Mike. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, this was a pretty amazing application. You could register your address and get push alerts notifying you if your address was in an imminent flood. And it, of course, used NOAA flood data to make that happen. Now, for our first place winner is the Minnesota Solar Suitability Analysis from the Solar Dream Team. We're going to bring the whole team on out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this was a really cool application that let you query solar data, the results of analysis, and look at things like your house or a building rooftop and to understand its solar suitability. So a big round of applause for all of our contestants and our winners here today. Thank you, thank you very much. And thank you, Dr. Sullivan. Thank My you. My pleasure, Thank you very thank much. You. See you. Isn't she great? <laughs> she's my favorite. <laughs> it's great. Let's see. I, th I think we have one, one more thing, don't we? We have one more thing? One more thing, I think. I think we have two more things. We might have several more things. Okay. But the next thing I know is that uh, we'd like to make an announcement here today. And we're not stopping with that app challenge. What we'd like to do is we'd like to take this global. So we're announcing here today the Global Disaster Resilience App Challenge. And what we've done here is we've partnered with the United Nations, specifically the UN ISDR. And that's the part of the organization that focuses on disaster reduction. So we're working with them to create this challenge. Stay tuned for announcements. And we'll be looking forward to seeing all your great apps built during this process soon. Well, Thank you very much. Actually, you should invite them to participate oh. in this. Of course, you're Play all big. to participate. Right. <laughs> the Secretary General is going to actually be at the next meeting, is it in uh, September or something like that, when, when we actually announce the winners to this one, along the same lines. So stay with us a few more minutes. We have two more things to show you.